So I'm constantly changing around my desk setup. I just posted a video a couple months ago, and as you can tell behind me, it's completely different from what that video was. I pretty much started completely from scratch, and I think I finally figured out the best dual monitor, minimal yet functional desk setup for me. What's going on everybody? My name is Jordan Palmano. Thank you for checking out this video. If this is your first time checking out the channel, I appreciate it. So for this desk setup, I wanted it to be completely different from anything that I've done in the past. I've played around with a lot of different variations throughout the years, and I've always wanted to do something similar to this, but I just didn't really have the means to do it. So I'm gonna get right into the desk tour. This video probably won't be too long because it is a pretty minimal setup, but let's get into it starting with the desk. So I finally got a standing desk, which I've been wanting for a while. This is the Smart Desk 2 by Autonomous. The desk itself is 53 inches by 29 inches. This is a standing desk, so it has a minimum height of 40 inches and a maximum height of 73. It has four programmable presets, which are great for when you want to stand up, sit down, or have anything in between. I use it a lot for product videos and stuff, so being able to adjust it on the fly is really nice. And the best part about these desks is that they're really well made, but they also come in the $300 to $400 range, which is pretty affordable for a standing desk. For my chair, I'm using the Kin Chair by Autonomous. It has a fishbone design on the back, which really supports your back. And for me, I have naturally terrible sitting posture, so this thing really supports my back and helps get rid of some of that fatigue that I feel when sitting for long hours. And of course, it is a standing desk, so I do try to stand and sit a little more frequently so that I can keep moving throughout the day as I work. For monitors, I'm using two LG 4K FreeSync monitors. These are 27 inches, and I've been using these for years. I got my first monitor in 2017, and I've loved it since then. They're extremely color accurate, sharp, and they just look nice and sleek on the desk. For mounting the monitors, I'm using two monitor desk mounts that I got off of Amazon. I think the brand is North Bayou. I'll be sure to link it in the description. I wanted to mount these monitors on something that I can move around so that I can make sure that everything is level and looks as sleek and clean as possible. I also opted to get two separate monitor stands instead of one that can hold two monitors because I want to be able to pull one monitor off and not have an ugly arm just sticking out of the desk because I do rearrange the desk a lot. I don't want to be stuck with just one option. Looking at this desk, you're probably wondering, where is your computer at? What are you running these monitors into? Now this is probably my favorite update to the setup and that is a Vivo laptop tray. This is a 360 degree swivel tray that mounts directly under the desk and allows you to set your laptop down there instead of placing it on the desk just to free up some extra space. I was really excited when I learned about this solution because I've been wanting to figure out a way to keep my laptop completely off of the desk just to free up some extra space. And of course, the laptop is still my 2017 MacBook Pro. This was the maxed out version at the time and it's starting to slow down a little bit but still gets the job done so I'll probably hold on to it for a little bit longer before I do upgrade. Now one issue that people typically face when setting up dual monitors with a MacBook Pro is the lack of ports. You only have four USB-C ports. One of those is typically dedicated to power, one of them for your hard drive so you're left with only two more and you're completely maxed out. So to help with this issue I'm running my Lacey 8 terabyte RAID drive. This hard drive has a built-in display port in it, so I'm able to plug in one monitor into the hard drive, plug in the hard drive to the computer, so now I can run both my hard drive and monitor into a single port, and it frees up a little extra space so that I can plug in random accessories as I need. There are a ton of different USB-C hubs that you can buy that kind of help with this issue, but this was the option that I had available to me, and it works out perfectly. I haven't noticed any sort of performance issues by doing this, so I think it's just the best and cleanest way to set it up because I do run that drive pretty much constantly as I'm working anyways. For sound, I'm using the Bose Mini Sound Link, which I've had on the desk for a couple years now. This is just a great little Bluetooth speaker for listening to music and casual listening. I don't really use it when I'm editing my videos. I'll use my headphones at that point just because there is a little bit of latency when you're using it via Bluetooth. On top of the desk, I have a black leather desk mat. It's just a basic pad I got off of Amazon. I'll link that in the description as well because I can't remember what brand it is. For my mouse and keyboard, I have the Apple Magic Keyboard and the mouse. I've had these for a couple years, nothing special, but they work. I'll probably upgrade in the future, but for now, there's really no need to. And also on the desk, I keep my 2020 iPad Pro with Apple Magic Keyboard. It's probably one of my favorite pieces of tech that I've purchased in a long time. I'll make a video talking more about it in the future, but it's just nice to have this on the desk. I use it a lot for answering emails or just keeping notes up while I'm doing video edits. It doesn't take up much room on the desk and it just looks nice when placed there. And that's all I have on this desk. It's about as minimal as you can get for being a dual monitor setup and I'm really happy with how clean it looks and how 
neat and organized that I can keep it. I get a lot of people asking me how it is having my desk in front of the window. It's really not that bad. I can close the blinds if I need to. And if I'm doing work that involves coloring or I need to see the true colors of an image on the screen, then I can close those blinds and I have some bias lights. The bias lighting is just a neutral color light rated at 6500 Kelvin, and this just helps your eyes perceive the true natural colors on screen instead of having warm tone lights all around your office. But that's going to be it for this video. I just wanted to post a quick little update to what the desk is looking like. Hopefully it'll be like this for a while, but knowing me, I'll probably get bored and change it up, so don't be surprised if you see something new in the next few months. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, say hello in the comments, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But until the next video, I'll see you all later.